thing about Chennai? My favourite thing about Chennai is the people. Because I've been very fortunate. I've been all over the world and people say, oh, this is a beautiful city, that. And, and many are, but I always judge places on the people. And myself and Sandy, since, since coming from in season six, the end of 2019, December 2019, the, the people have been so welcoming, so friendly. Everyone I meet, there's always a big smile on their face. And that might be, they might, people we, all have challenging times in different situations. But everyone I meet, there's always a big smile on their face. My, it's not a wish, but my, my hope, is the best way to put it, is that we can keep adding to the fans that, that come to the home games. Now, I know we have a, a nucleus of, of hardcore fans, fans that are there all the time, through thick and thin. Wonderful, wonderful supporters. I love that about, you know, I love that about Chennai. The, and I, I probably know them all because I, I make a point of when they come to the, the some of the training sessions and before and after games, and they're always there to welcome us and the way in, it's amazing. They turn up two hours before the game to, to cheer you on the way in. And when there's a draw, those fans are always there on the way out of the stadium. And I know a lot of them personally and, and I thank them for that support. And again, so that, that, there's a number of things special about, uh, about Chennai for sure and CFC, but you know, our supporters, amazing, amazing group of supporters. What about the food from Chennai? The food? Yeah, so you're probably asking the wrong person about the food, because anybody would tell you, obviously I, my palate can't even take pepper. So obviously here we use some wonderful spices, and in fairness, Sandy, Sandy, like Sandy tries the, he tries the spicy food and different things, and, and he likes it, so maybe Sandy's better to ask about that one. So I kind of eat more, more plain than anything else. But again, the uh, yeah, the hospitality has been wonderful for sure. We were talking about all the new guys, especially the young ones like Kian, Gurkiras and all of them. And we've got even an experienced set of new signings coming in with Mandar. So what do you think of, we've even got a new assistant coach as well. So with the new season, looking ahead to the new season, what are your thoughts? How What are, we, what are the expectations basically? Well, the expectations for us are always the same. We, we want to win and that's how we enter into every game. And the more wins you accumulate, it takes you higher up the table. So any competition that you enter into, you want to win. So it's not always, and I said this before, it's not always the best individuals that make the best team. And we've shown that, we've shown it at Chennai. CFC have shown that from the outset of the league. We showed that at Jamshedpur. To go to Jamshedpur and win the Shield in Jamshedpur with another very low budget team in the league, you don't have to spend the most money to try and be the champions and be the best team. So that'll be our aim as always, to be the very best that we can be. And if we are, then we're going to be very competitive again. You have a big family, like you told us, you have so many brothers and sisters. And how does it feel staying away from all of them? Yeah, well, that, that's always a challenge. But in saying that, they, they, they know why I do it. They do it because they know how much I love football. They know I'm at a a wonderful club and just probably to backtrack on that if I go back to last year I mean I had I had multiple offers from at home abroad all over the world last year and if I if in truth the biggest reason I came back because we have wonderful owners in Vita Mam and Abhishek who I know very well because I don't know if people know this I don't know that but prior to me taking the Chennai job I was offered the job years before that I flew to Mumbai and, and I'd met Vietnam and Abhishek and that's that would have been season, I don't know, it might have been season four, whatever season four, yeah, probably, whatever it was anyway. And uh, anyway, at that time, things happened and it never came together. Uh, but having met them, I was very, very impressed by them in terms of how they were as people, which is really important. And then last year, uh, Vietnam actually, because they'd been different Ekans and Pratham and all that had been on to me. And, there was a lot of things to consider. And then Vita Man came on and she said, listen Owen, please come back and help. We, you know, we need somebody of your caliber to come and help the club back to where we feel we should be again and everything else. And that was the biggest, if I'm honest, that, that was the reason why I came back. Because I know they're really good people. Very, very honorable. That's the type of people I like working for. Because then you can get the best out of people. And uh, so, obviously it was a big challenge to make the playoffs last year, which we did. And what we want to do now is try and kick on, try and improve and be better again. Now we know that's going to be difficult, but listen, we're excited, we're looking forward to it and we'll do everything in our power to give our fans and obviously the owners and everybody in the club uh, a team 
that they can be proud of. A team that when they look onto the field, they think, wow, that's my Chennai team. That's Whether we win, lose or draw, but that's a team that's representative of me, a CFC supporter, because they're pouring their heart and soul on the field and they have ability to go with it. So that's what we have to do. What's the most important quality that a football player should possess? Well, there isn't one, there isn't one quality that footballers need. They need, they need a number of qualities. As I mentioned before, you know, obviously, you need to have ability, you need to have talent, but then you need to have a, a burning desire to be the best that you, you possibly can be. So that requires a discipline, a focus, and then obviously to be successful at elite level, which is the level that we operate at, then you need a strong mentality because the nature of sport, the nature of football, you can think everything's going really well and it, it can change like that and vice versa the other way. When you think, oh, you can't, nothing's going right. But the only way you change that is by making sure you're, you have all those qualities, all those attributes we said. So, uh, and the other thing for player, for footballers, particularly in the, in the present day, they must be prepared to sacrifice. They have to sacrifice in terms of how they live their life and they eat the right things, they rest at the right time. And that might mean sometimes that you say to friends, no, I'm not going out tonight. I need to stay in, I need to be focused, I need... So, there's a number of things, but uh, certainly when you bring all them together, you're never ever guaranteed anything in football and certainly sport, but what it does do, it gives you a better chance and a better opportunity to go and achieve the things you want to achieve. But if you just come with talent and think that's enough, this game is unforgiving. It will, it will never, ever be enough. Well, thank you so much, Coach, for spending uh, time with us. And it was lovely talking to you. And we wish you good luck for the rest of the season as well. Thanks, Sam. No, I've loved it. I mean, this is the beach is beautiful. I'm sitting here, it's a beautiful breeze. Uh, obviously, I haven't been down here before. I've seen uh, quite a bit of Chennai. But this is nice to come to see and enjoy the breeze. A beautiful day. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to an exciting season. Looking forward to seeing those fans come to the stadium, uh, create that atmosphere that, that it's known for. And uh, as always, the important thing is that we're all in this together. So that's why we say all in for Chennai in because it's really important that we do the gets together. Thank you very much. And to everybody out there, come along, support the boys. Look forward to seeing you all. Take care. God bless.